let's start with the uh, difficult tenth studio album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> different, different to the difficult second, third, and fourth, and fifth, and sixth. I mean, just how difficult was it this, or was it really was it okay just to come together this time? Because there's been a few years l yeah. that you've been doing your own sort of things. Yeah. 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 No, it was. It was. Um, I mean, it was incredibly easy. You know, <laughs> actually, <laughs> there I you go. Blown you, that theory. Blown that theory. It was. It was a difficult ninth album. Actually, the last one was a very difficult one. But now this one was. Um, you know, we weren't even sure what was going to happen. But Andrew and I got together and. We started writing, and as we wrote, we'd record it every night, and we, we threw out the idea of demos, and just started making the album really as we wrote. So we'd be in a hotel room, and you know, within the hour of finish the song, we'd have it sort of recorded, and two or three of the songs are just out of hotel room. So it just went great. All the grounds. How different was working that way to the stuff that you've done in the past? Well, we just, you know. We didn't try to recreate what, what Andrew and Michael had written or yeah. any of us had written in the past. You know, this, this album just went bang, bang, bang. You know, yeah. and it was, everyone had heard the record before we went into the studio to make it, and basically we all knew what we had wanted to do and had to do, sort of thing. So it just made it really quick, and it, in, in a sense, it keeps, it keeps a certain attitude from the band yeah. mm -hmm. that we've, you know, we've tried to find in, a, in other records that Found just it before in happen. places, but it's just, a, yeah. well, this is, it's, what the difference is that it's how you arrive at the first take, mm -hmm. you know? It's how you think about it. It's instead of, it's just like, look, this is what we are, this is what we do. Just keep it raw and, and, and mm -hmm. go for it, you know, mm -hmm. first take. I mean, we did, made the out, we did 16 tracks in eight days, mm -hmm. you know, and that was it. We spent the last five years putting out, out an album, nearly you know, four albums in five years, and we, and in some ways that's too much, you know, and it lacks direction. You're sort of just throwing it out all the time, and you don't, people don't have time to ca catch up with it or understand it. And I, and I think we just disappeared for a couple of years. It has been a long break in, in, a, in a sense uh, for us as people because we, we, in a sense, I think probably should have taken some longer breaks earlier on, uh, but we never really did yeah. um, as a group. And I think therefore this seems like a very long break, whereas other friends, musicians I have, whatever, is a fairly normal break actually to take between albums, you know. Do you think that's the way then to kind of get excited about the music again? Because I. You know, obviously we're yeah. going to talk about that mm. as we go on, but having been together mm. for the length of time that you have, mm. yeah, just how well, do I mean, you generate that? Well, I think you just, I mean, I think you just get excited, but if you, ha if you, if you think you've got some good stuff, then you're going to get excited, hopefully. If you've still got anything going on up here and the band's still got its dynamic and you still actually do want to play music together, which we do, you know, regardless, um, then yeah, then, then the, you know, good songs makes for a happy band, <laughs> makes for excitement, you know what I mean? It's like a relief for me. Um, Nexus is like a drug to me. It's like I, I need it. Uh, it's, a, it's a vehicle for me to express what I do best and what I love the most. And um, I always get a little tingling feeling before we do any record. Last time, you know, we, it, probably our toughest time, we just, uh, where we, we were trying to get off a contract with Atlantic and, mm -hmm. and get, leave our manager, and we had, you know, producers downstairs and lawyers upstairs. <laughs> You know, the ultimate cliche nightmare, you know, it was just a really tough. So this one is just, you know, get on with it. Yeah, we're not the only ones. Please, for the love that's lost. Trust, like the air. You gotta lose some sleep. Everything to fall me. Everything I do fall me. This album seemed to me that there was a lot of um, uh, space in there. I don't yeah. know if that was conscious, but I, you know, I, I hear mm -hmm. instruments and it's quite clear. Good. As, I mean, your producer mm. was he kind of. 
Well, well you didn't have much. You said you we didn't, didn't really have too much. The produce, production just came out Bruce. of the, the songwriting. We, had, we, we worked with an engineer uh, while we were, we were doing that. Uh, and a, a guy. And um, I, th I think uh, I think the space just came out of trying to, you know, uh, just keep things simple as we wrote, and, we, and then we listened to it and found that that became the style. You know, we just yeah. wanted to, yeah, there's bridges that go to different mm. places. You know, a lot more, so a lot more sonically um, imaginative. I think the record, mm. it's simple and clear spaces, but they go to different yeah. places. I think we rediscovered restraint on this record. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. you know, I mean, we, uh, somewhere. You know, it, for, you know, it was always a big thing for us because it was six of us, and all, all of us always wanted to play everything on every track. Mm. You know, and Nightmare. for a, a long time, and then there was a certain period through our you know, history where we really did discover restraint and mm. what was important was what you didn't play, you know. And then we, you know. We're, we're back to just thrashing away for a few years. <laughs> exactly. And now we're back to and the now we're back restraint. To restraint. <laughs> Change keeps us moving on, all alone. As we walk through the crowd, yeah. You gotta lose some sleep. What drives you to continue to want to be successful or to con just to continue to want to play? Yeah, what, um, what drives you to want to keep going for I the think, next album? Or yeah, I, well, I th just wanted to write, see what the next piece of music could be. I, you know, on this record, when Angie and I first got together, we actually talked about this for like nine months before we even started. We had all our, a lot of arguments beforehand. We actually said, well, you know, we talked a lot about this actual question. Well, why? Well, what's the point? Have we said it all? If we, you know, we, we sort of came to the conclusion that we'd like to define it again in a, in a way, but keep it, can we do that and keep it fresh? You know, can we define the band, move ahead at the same time, keep it fresh? That's the real challenge. That's tough. You know? So you were asking what is in yeah. excess? Yeah, what, mm. and, and, and I think we've actually done it. I think we actually, on this record, did yeah. what we wanted to do, you know. Being together for 17 years, yeah. I can't help but think that over 17 years there, it, it can't have been a happy marriage all the way. There, no. Have there been times where you thought that, like so many other bands who started out when you did and have fallen by the wayside? There's a few of us left. We sort of came out of that weird generation of, you know, born between punk and disco, and it's and pretty tenacious who are left. The, you know, REMs, U2s, Depeche Mode, you know, but it's not many. I, I don't know. I think all those bands, and I, I, we know them all and I've met them all, and we all are kind of people that, I don't know, we're made of that sort of stuff or yeah. something. You know, we, we basically are friends, and we, you know, it, it sounds trite, you know, but it's the way it works, you know. We, we pull each other through. Each We've all had our moments where it's just like, for whatever reason, usually not, not a music thing at all, so much as outside mm. stuff, family or this or you know, mm. you know, we started as a gang of mates and then called it in excess, and then we kind of attempted to grow up and and mm. and, and and broaden our horizons and have your wilderness periods, let's call it, and and children or whatever you want to do, and we've given each other enough rope so that. We, we're still interested in each other because we're all really different people in many ways. Do you still go out and have a, a, a drink after oh, yeah. together? Does it feel like a... Oh yeah, before and after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, we still, we still, um, we can still have a really good time together. I mean, you know, we... Basically, we can... the Partridge family, I mean, no. we have a place. <laughs> so I think one of it is also Look. being Aussies, we're very... We don't have, I when, don't think we have that preciousness and, and, you know, yeah. harboring and, and playing power games behind backs and, you know, mm. it's just like, look, this is what I think, if you don't like it, so what? You know, yeah. okay, let's work it out, you know? Well, Whack! Mm. And get, when get did you ever see it? the Partridge family go out to the Bain Douche for dinner? <laughs> exactly. <don't laughs> I mean, you know? Yeah. Or we'll yeah. swap houses and friends and, and, and whatever. You know, and there was always a, you always got this impression there was a band leader. <laughs> <laughs> but there's not it? with you guys? No. <laughs> Is it? Very democratic. Very There's course. no such thing as democratic rock band. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Someone, someone has to lead somewhere along the line. Someone has to. And, and we all blamed. take our turns. <laughs> you know?